Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest XI S Definitive Edition 2D mode. We're gonna go over to where we need to go next. Not sure what we're gonna do there. But the map says we need to go up here next. So we'll do that. It looks like it's getting to be dawn. What is this place? We went there before, I think. That was the place that had the strong monsters. Or I feel like it was just a strong monster, and then when I went to go grind there, there was nothing good. What is this? Mountain range. Is this where we're supposed to be going, or is this weak-ass enemies? Just as weak as the sea enemies. Oh my goodness. What's the point of coming here then? What is this place? Have I been here before? Doesn't seem like we can cross. Ooh, a Pteranodon. We're in Dinosaur Island or what? Sweep anyone but the griffin. We have to get across that bridge somehow. Break those rocks somehow. Alright, guys. We've already fought these eagles. These highly endangered eagles that we're killing. it? There's nothing to do there. Why didn't we ask her that when we talked to her already? Seems weird. This is the next area. He was literally beating girls off with a stick? That's rude. Do we have to go over these mountains?
I'm so lost. Where are we trying to go? I guess we'll warp to Nautica and ask the princess like Eric suggested. I don't know why she didn't just tell us. Okay, I hope you guys read that. She said that there's a whirlpool on the western edge of the map that will lead us to where we need to go, so. Let's try to find it, eh? I didn't want to sing anymore. Can't get out of there. We need to go warp somewhere else. Hold on. Wow. Ten minutes after the episode starts. Well, I cut some... I've cut some stuff out, but... I had to look up where this was. This is not very obvious. Like, it would be different... We could see on the map where the whirlpools were. There's a whirlpool down here! Like, I guess this is where the... Exclamation point is. So, I think only that one whirlpool we've entered first goes underwater. I think the other whirlpools lead you to other places you couldn't get to. So I was asking. Remember I was just saying, oh, there's a whirlpool inside of this circular mountain area that we can't climb across because it's gray. How do we get in there? So I guess the whirlpools get you in there. Ooh, green poo-poos this time, huh? North, l'Academy de Notre Maitre de Metiales, South, Phnom Nong. Where are we supposed to be going? Phnom Nom or the other place? Well, the academy sounds like a place for little girls. That the lady was talking about, so let's try to go there first. Ooh, spiked hairs. Get it? We're so leveled up, we don't even need to try new areas. I love this part of a RPGs where you get too overpowered and nothing can harm you. Eric's getting a little hurt, but whatever. Oh, we went the wrong way.
All right, well... Oh, can we even get there? I want to look at that. Yeah, because that's on a boat. How do we travel over water? Whatever, we'll go to this place first, I guess. This is what we're trying to get to in the first place. We can explore off-screen when I grind, I'm sure. May as well show all these battles. It's gonna take a lot of time to edit them out, and more time than it will be to just watch them because they're short as heck! L'Académie de Notre Notre de Madaïs. So this is France. Wow, they even teach slimes and turds. Hello! Neath the branches of the branches, daffodils sway and swing. Here among the graceful gardens, budding your long ladies sing. We'll stride across the wide, white world and hunt for mini meadows low and high. But our hearts live forever in La Carami de Notre Matre de Madai. More singing. Très bien. A splendid rendition, girls. Now to your lesson. May you have a maximally fruitful day on your journey to become a miniature ladies par excellence. All together now. Merci, monsieur, madame. Oh, it's not a turd. It's one of those slimes with shells on their back. Okay. Mm, what are we here? It is not so often that we uh, welcome the visit you. It is a minimum command from Corinth, in fact. In Quable. I do not believe it, young man. It must have been fate that brought you here. Destiny, la providence. I sense a great power within you, a power of maximal significance. There is much to discuss, but not out there. I Come to my office. I will reveal all you have need to know. It is nearby. A minimal distance you will see. Alright, well, I'm going to go in this wall first. What the? How did we go backwards? Psst, don't you want to hear something that's going to blow your mind? This hurts to actually the hot. This hut is actually the holiday home of the mini metal loving monarch. He comes to stay here whenever he wants to get in touch with how a mini metal feels. Hidden away in the shadows. Rich people have such silly ideas of all the slime. Enchanted stone. Why isn't there? Let me look at the map still. Get out of here, map. Why would we even have a map of this town? We're very good at maps. The statue is called La Collectrice. It depicts an elegant young lady picking up a gold medal in a distinctly dignified fashion. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the Academy. Have you met Monsieur Madeo, the headmaster? He collects mini medals from all over the world. If you're looking for him, you should try his study. It's the little cottage just inside the main building. Well, yeah, of course we're going there. That's where he said to go. I believe you went to the for a bonjour, Madame La Bouche. On the mall. I do not know what Monsieur Madia is thinking, allowing such an inelegant man, young man, to wander around the economy with a nilly. The girls who attend the honorable call will one day be the shining star of dream of the society. They should not be mixing with the fluff. As head of the department, department department, it is my duty to ensure that all who come here live with you so quite stand up elegant at putty and that includes you shut up 
You're literally a slug. Where is this guy? Oh, I see another taco over there that I didn't mention before we left. Ooh, a feathered cap. Useless. What a useless item. Lightling belt. I'm Bastien, editor in chief of the school newsletter, Le Mini Monde. Not that you know it from this big blank, blank, blank space on the notice board. I just finished tracking up this month's issue when it got caught, 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 caught up in the breeze and blew out the window. And to top, top, top it all off, it was in all the new, 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 new format. It even had the long-awaited Charlie, Charlie come out column. Advice for the love one from the Madame Charlie himself, herself. I've already taken all the letters out of the tray thing for the printing press. It would take forever to put, put, put it all back again. I suppose I'll have to write, write, write this month's issue off to a good start on the next week's... Uh, oh, but it was so good. What are you talking about, dude? Where is this guy? I think we have to go upstairs or downstairs from here to get there. The library, I guess. Get out of the way. We already... I'm confused. Hey, guess what I'm thinking about? Um, are you thinking about those fairies you saw at the bottom of the garden? Or maybe you're imagining what it'd be like to dance at a Heliodorian ball? Joke, you know when I look into your eyes, I can't think of anything else. Tee, oh, you're such a silly belly. Are these boys? Yeah, the lesbians. Interesting. Hola, darling. I'm training to be just like my idol, an absolutely fabulous mass martial artist who goes by the name of Sterling Silva. I can do a decent impression of the cool way he talks and all those dramatic gestures he does, but the one thing I haven't been able to replicate is his amazing physique. Not yet, anyway. Well, he's in our party. Seriously, where is this guy? I don't understand how we got back downstairs. Is this it? There he is. Uh, there you are! Now you must allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm Maxime Madiai. And this is my humble establishment, l'Académie des Motres Matrimes de Madiai. A school in which miniature ladies bloom into beautiful, full grown flowers. As part of their education and encouraging our pupils to journey through all the lands of Adria and to gather the maximum number of mini medals they can find. As they want for medals, they immerse themselves in the culture of the world and acquire at least a minimum of... All you say... Savoir-faire? But every so often, a born medal hunter comes along. I sense this in you. I see the most maximally adroit metal detector of my career before me. However, there's one miniature problem. The academy is for young girls and young girls alone. Sadly, I cannot offer you a place here. But does this mean I will allow such potential maximal to remain untapped? No! By the power vested in me, I hereby enroll you as an honorary member of the Academy de Notre Matre de Madre. Now to the formalities. First of all, take this, your very own Alban de Madais. Decor? What is this you are asking? You already have an album de medallis, there's a miniature medal challenge exchange in Puerto Valor. I knew it was a born a deed to open that office. I have them and out albums to able adventurers in the hopes of finding a medal collector maximal. And now I have found you. Now that you are enrolled as an honorary student of the academy, 
I can give you access to the full package for elite metal detectives only. Allow me to upgrade your album to its maximum capacity. Maxime added more pages to Pew's album than Medale. For each and every mini metal that you bring to me, I will add a minuscule stamp to the album. And the more stamps you collect, the more maximally magnificent your reward will be. Now go, young man. Your quest is to collect the maximum number of metals, mini metals, has officially begun. Seek them out, pick them up, and bring them to me. Why? Aren't you supposed to give me the silver medal? Oh, Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb is done downloading and ready to play. Oh. Felicitations, young man. Your reward for collecting five stamps is the Shield Bearer. A maximal magnificent prize indeed. You receive the Shield Bearer. Is that it? Felicitations, oh, felicitations, young man. Your reward for collecting ten stamps is Hermes Hat. A maximal magnificent prize indeed. Felicitations, young man. Your reward for collecting twenty stamps is a rune staff. A maximally magnificent prize indeed. Okay. Cool. We completed the first page. Felicitations, young man. You have completed the third pa one page of your albums in a day. This is not a miniature achievement in the slightest. You have maxed out that page, but your career as a metal detector extraordinaire is not yet at an end. No, it is time to turn over a new leaf. And voila! You have not collected a total of 20 stamps. Keep the mini medals coming, and when you reach total reach 25, I'll reward you with a uniform de l'Academy. Now, isn't that a magnificent... Max, ugh, maximally magnificent prize. Sure. So what are these items you gave me to do? And why are we here? I thought this was how to get to the next orb. What do we get? Nothing for Rab, right? Rune staff? Ooh. What else? That's something else that seemed like it would be armor. For Rob. I don't remember what it gave me. What was the... The only thing I remember is the... It seemed like it was the clothes. Oh, the metal something. Or the... Remove what? There's nothing in my right hand. Yeah, I don't know what... He gave me whatever, some sort of shield metal? Ooh, there's a glow. No. Ooh, a talking tin guy. Talk, talk, talk! Who's disturbing my precious few seconds of sleep? Oh, wait a minute. You're the luminary, are you not? I was, um, just taking a nap after spending tons of time searching for a password. Speaking of which, allow me to share this one I found with you. You now visit the Neverglade via the Altar of the Heavenly Bride. Pockety tick! You can use that password I gave you to visit another world from the Echo Chambers in Tickington. There are more tuckles out there will whiling away the hours searching for passwords. You know, be sure to check. Be sure to take a moment to talk to them if you come across any. And with that, I'm clocking off and trundling back to Tickington. It was lovely meeting you, and good luck with the rest of your adventure, Tick Tock. Alright, well this is where we're going to end this episode, I think. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. Besides getting the metal guy? That seems weird. Alright, so we'll see you guys next time. Make remember to share the video.
like the video first, and then share the video, and then subscribe to the channel, and then ring that bell to be notified of future videos, and we will see you guys next time where we figure out where the silver orb is. See you guys next then. Bye!